there were roofs down everywhere, there were people running around, and it was just much more of a state of panic in that area, definitely. And then I saw the high school, and just knowing how close my house was, it was just, I started shaking and panicking. I'm Amanda Holcomb, and I graduated in 2011. In high school, I um, was an artsy kid who was just really chill. We got the diploma in the room, and I actually, I was going to stay to take pictures with people, but that's when my dad told me the tornado alarms were going off and that I couldn't stay to take pictures with any of my friends or anything like that. We were listening to the radio just sitting there waiting to get in the line to leave and they were talking about the storm warnings and they were just saying, you know, there's a lot of people at the graduation and if you're there you really shouldn't try to leave because it's safer just to stay at the college. So I got inside and they were organizing where people were going to go because there was a lot of people down there and we ended up in the girls locker room in the basement so we stayed there and really I couldn't tell anything that was going on. I mean the lights flickered a few times so I really didn't think it would be that bad. We went out to I think 20th and we tried to go through. It definitely got worse when you got into like the residential areas where all, there were more trees and stuff. I was in the Carl Junction tornado when I was younger so I kind of used to like, not used to, but kind of knew what to expect. But it wasn't what I expected, it was way worse. The closer I got to my house, which is by the high school, the worse everything got. And then I saw the high school, and just knowing how close my house was, it was just, I started shaking and panicking. I came up by the high school and was just really shocked at, you know, what I saw. And I mean, I was just going there like a week ago. I turned into the alley next to the Sunny Jim baseball field and I was just so relieved. I mean, I couldn't see my house, but I could see that, you know, if these two houses are standing, it's most likely that mine is too. So I was just really relieved, but I was also scared because I didn't know if my parents and my brother were actually at the house. The door was blown in with a huge piece of metal from, from Franklin Tech, and the windows were blown in, and there was huge pieces of metal all over the yard. And I saw the car was there, and my brother, like, ran out, and just picked me up and gave me a big hug. That was really nice. <laughs> my mom just told me to start packing and there was a gas leak already. You could just smell it from one of the houses. My parents, um, they got most of their clothes but our, like, their desk and their computer was ruined from water leaking and in the kitchen we lost our dining room table. I was really glad to get my yearbook because <laughs> And the senior year was the only year I got my yearbook. I was like, okay, I definitely want this now. <laughs> so yeah, I was really glad to get that. And I got all the personal stuff that meant anything to me. So I was really happy about that. I had a lot of anxiety issues after it and I had like panic attacks and nightmares and stuff. I usually vent with my art, but I kind of tried to just push this down a little more instead. I definitely didn't have that regular summer feel after <laughs> senior year. <laughs> I can't even remember exactly right now because there's just so much you learn with this, but really it's kind of just more of appreciating what you have and not taking things for granted, you know, and being glad that you have your family and stuff like that and being thankful towards others when they reach out a hand to help you.